I was out with a bunch of friends and we're drinking. So I go do a beer run with uh, a buddy of mine. Come out of the parking lot. I roll the stop sign and I see a cop car coming towards me with their headlights on. So I pull into this plaza. He pulls in behind me. I was really scared. I had a suspended license. Inside my backpack, that was close to $300,000. It was Mr. X's money, and I had to make sure nothing happened to it. I tell my friend, when I put it in park, I'm gonna jump out and run. I grab the backpack, I push on the brake, throw it in park, and it was like the gun at a horse race. I just took off. As soon as I start running, there was a fence, jump the fence, jump the highway. At this point, there's helicopters. I hit a patch of woods where there's no one around. I throw the backpack as far as I can. I run away from the backpack into another neighborhood and I hide under a van. They have a canine come out and try to trace me and the canine was so close to me I can hear him breathe. Three, four in the morning, freezing cold. I decided to turn myself in. They charged me with resisting without violence and driving on a suspended license. I went to jail for the first time. It's a hard pill to swallow, but four months later I was released and I went back to the patch of woods. You know, the backpack was covered in mildew. The money wasn't damaged at all. I had to return that money back to Mexico. I didn't want to get into trouble. It was the cartels. One day, I come across a newspaper article where somebody gets arrested in Ocala. Something told me to show it to Mr. X. Hey, do you know this guy? He goes, yeah, that's one of the brothers that we deal with. I said, well, he got arrested for drugs. Mr. X asked me to make a decision. They owe me and Mr. X close to $96,000, but the police they're coming for us next. I said, let's get the most money that we can and then just run. I go to collect money from the other brother, not the one who got busted. He does seem a little weird. He seems a little standoffish. As before, he was real friendly. I'm trying to collect $96,000 from him. And he's blowing me off, pushing me off, you know, give me a couple more days, give me a couple more days. And I go back to Mr. X to talk about it. And about five, 10 minutes later, I get a knock on the door. When I heard the knock, my heart went into my stomach. Police have a certain knock. I'm not, I'm not answering the door. Mr. X opened the doors, and sure enough, AR-15s in his face, tell him to get on the ground. They rip open everything. They start breaking in the walls, ripping open beds, couches, flipping the dressers over, trying to find drugs. and they asked me if my name was Jacob Diaz. We got a warrant for your arrest for drug, drug trafficking. I said, that's impossible, I don't sell drugs. I said, you got the wrong guy. They said, no, we got the right guy. Turns out the other brother had been busted. He's cooperating and he was wearing a wire. 
he was recording me trying to collect $96,000 from him, trying to collect money because I never got it. Then they get done and they don't find nothing. I'm in the car with a DEA agent. We're going to the county jail. And before we could put it in reverse, two guys come out with a shoebox and a big smile from ear to ear. They found the $86,000 that I had for Shayla. That's when I knew that I was going to prison. Ay, 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 ay. 